Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Na, 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 na. Got another casty cast for you guys. And going to do three games of Jose versus Buell on SCW. And I think this was SCW 28. Almost positive I haven't done these games. And, um, yeah, Jose, one of the top Western players. A lot of people dislike him. Uh, some people say he hacks. Some people say Dingo hacks. Um, I don't know, but, um... I still think he's a good player, and I mean, if he's playing against Buell and he hacks, I mean, it makes it shows that Buell is just that much, much of a beast. So um, we got Buell on the Protoss, and one thing that Jose, I think his second best race would probably be his Zerg. I think, in my opinion, I think his Zerg is pretty good. So. And thank you everybody for thousand subs. Super happy about it. And um, continue to grow the channel. And I'm actually going to be doing I'm doing these games on Sunday. I don't know when I'm going to be posting them, but I'm going to be I'm going to my parents uh, for to at least Thursday. So I'm just going to be doing a bunch of games in a row. So, um, I don't know if I'm posting this on Sunday. I don't know if this will be posted on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, we'll see. Here's your scout. Zergling going to scout. Going to see the Zot. Going to get some information. Going to see those Zolots pop out. And probably going to... We'll see if he puts a chamber here. Going to let this guy chill. And I thought he was going to die right there. And he is going to die, but this guy's going to come in and get the scout off. Going to see that Cyber was down here. Sees the double gas, the Nexus. So knows he's up against a Nexus. And here is your scout from Buell. So Buell going to see two Sunkins, a third one on the way. Got a couple Zerglings right here. Here's your lair for Jose. Stargate for Buell right there. Yeah, I hope I haven't done this game. I mean, I, I just remember this is how Buell likes to play. But I don't really remember it, so. Got another hatchery. And we have six zealots right here. One thing about Dingo and Jose is they will play the the best players. Um, Hydra plays the best players, but they played the best players a lot. So they played Gensei a lot, and they played Buell a lot, which is what I thought was uh, respectable. So they're not afraid of the competition. Um, they don't care if they lose 8 out of 10. They're still going to keep playing, so... One thing that I do like about them. So. Here is your robotics. Getting the upgrade. Uh, Corsair. He's probably got this Rayleigh out of here. Going to go right after this guy. And this makes me not think that Jose hacks because, I mean, he'd probably have moved this over or something like that. So. Hi, uh, Spire on the way. He's got three gas. This guy's going to go down. Buell's going to get the scout off too after he kills this. He's got two two lines of pylons. It's a support bay. Two more robotics. And then there's your Templar archives. Another Corsair going to pop out. Going to continue to make the Corsairs. And going to go and get the scout off. Going to see the Spire. One thing Jose's not doing that well is making sure his supply 37. 
He finally just made some overlords. He is getting, they are getting killed by these Corsairs. This guy's going to go down. So, but he's going to have a bunch of mutas on the way. Got another hatchery. And there's about, let's see these. He needs to get a couple of Scorgies. So he's got five mutas right here. Going to go after maybe the main. And there's a little pause action. Maybe ball these guys up. Got another hatchery. So, I mean, Jose's doing a pretty decent job. He looks pretty big. Going to go after, move out with the mutas and the scorgies right here. Might have wanted four scorgies. And the Corsairs are at home going to defend. We're going to see maybe a reaver drop. Sending these guys in. Going to see the cannons and then back out of there. And here are your overlords on the side. So nice job there by Jose. Playing at 235 APM. You might even get another hatchery. We'll see. And going to get a chamber. Getting his a sunken right there. And I think he's just maybe looking for a drop of some sort. So here's your chamber. Going to wall this off. I think... Here's a couple of DTs right here. Yeah, I think Buell's going to just go for a massive reaver drop. And maybe try to push. We'll see. Sending these guys out. Just going to keep scouting. Looking for anything out there. And he does have some hydras right here. So, I mean, if he could start massing up the hydras with the mutas. He's having a, a good amount of time right here to kind of do what he wants for a little bit. Getting speed for the Hydras. And going to take these guys out. Or try to. We'll see if the Corsairs get moving from Buell. Another Stargate right here. So, and building all of his stuff right in the back. Interesting way to, to build. This is kind of how the Koreans, they build a little bit differently. So, a couple more Hydras right here. Here is the chamber getting that upgrade. He's got Overlord Speed, which I think is huge. Setting these guys out. And is this an Overlord 2? Yes, it is. So he's got only seven gateways, but he's gonna have a massive, massive drop. Might use some disruption web. So we'll see. And Jose at 86 supply. Here comes your Corsairs. Ooh, did they spot this out? This guy's going to go down so fast. And just going to find an opening. And here's your Mutas. These guys have an upgrade. We'll see. They do. And going to try to find a path right here here comes your drop distracting and a huge reaver drop right here using these guys to kind of distract got a storm reavers dt's in here and gonna drop jose all the way down to nine drones and sniping those out dt's in here i don't see an overlord so this guy's just gonna these guys are gonna feast these are the little things that you just don't realize. And he's down to one drone. And that, this guy might go down. He's after him. Zero. Okay, they just spawned. These guys are just going to keep going down. He needs to bring that overlord over, which he's not. There it is. Could have brought this guy over. Three DTs in here just absolutely murking. And Buell is going to build up his base and he's going to be maxed up maxed out pretty soon pumping out of these three robotics right here probably got one upgrade he does Let's see if he's got any reavers in here no reavers just going to go for a massive massive drop i think And 
and Jose just gonna realize he knows it's over. Ah, oh, bless me. Sorry, guys. So he knows that one's over. Uh um, easy peasy off baby right there for the Buellster. This one we got a TVZ. And going to be a very far TVZ. So we'll speed this up. I just want to, I'm going to double check on my channel. Let's see. I know I've done these guys before. But I don't think I've done these, these games right here. So hopefully not. I don't remember, um, I, I mean, that one game looks similar, but I think it was against, he played the exact same way against, I want to say Dingo or Hydra. So, this time we got Buell on the Zerg, we got Jose on the Terran, going three, Barracks going to be really far away, first gas coming down. Couple Zerglings gonna spawn. Got the three drones, and here's your scout. Let's slow it down. And gonna put that creep colony up forward. We'll see if he goes right into a factory right in the middle. Is he gonna go for a super fast push? Exactly what he's gonna do. Wait for that hundred gas. Pretty sure. Just getting a little bit closer. He's got these three Marines right here. Gotta be careful with Buell though, because he's got really good Ling. He can take out your Marines with his links pretty quickly. Here's your factory. So super fast push. So this is how a lot of Western players like to play. They get a bunch of Marines. We'll see if Buell tries to sneak some of these guys out. And then if he sees this factory right here. Already a lair on the way. And Jose doing a nice job kind of defending this and he's gonna try to get this right here which he does so well done little micro backwards action nice job there gonna lose one marine but that's not the end of the world this is gonna go down might be able to get this one he's gonna try to get this one and gonna have to cancel that well done here's your second factory this is done gonna put that machine shop on gonna keep producing Let's see if he's got an academy on the way and this is what Kokini always did. And you go right into that engineering bay. And he's going to use this engineering bay to wall off. So say Buell goes for Zerglings with speed. But he's probably going with the Spire. Which, yes, he is. There's your double gas. So if there was Zerglings, they have to run around. And he kind of walls this off. And then he's also got the machine shop right there. So it's a nice little pathway. And he's going to lift this up anyways after this siege and tank. Uh, after this tank is out so after this finishes actually he's gonna lift this up so he's got two factories pumping out of three barracks and this is extremely tough to do nice job spotting this out gonna be able to take this out one thing is Buell has great muta micro and he's gonna have eight or nine mutas as soon as this spawns, let's see how many he has. And here's your tank. And now, Buell knows he's up against a super fast tank. And he just lost another uh, creep colony. So, and I really think Jose is playing this one extremely, extremely well. Mutas are on the way. So we got eight mutas on the way for Buell. We got three tanks right here. Just gonna start blasting through this. Let's see what Jose sees. So he's seeing all this. He's, see, he's gonna see these mutas spawn right here. 
Here's another drone. Gonna go right into making... Look at Buell. Only playing at 158 p.m. Into making another creep colony. But that'll pick up with this Muta Micro. Now he knows that there's all these Mutas right here. And here's a Medic in here, but has to be careful. These tanks are gonna go down real quick. And let's see what... I mean, look at... We got eight mutas right here taking on another tank. He's got nine mutas. Another one coming on over. Jose trying to defend against this. Jose at 72 supply. This tank might go down, but he's losing a decent amount of getting a lot of shots on those mutas. So three tanks right here. Well, these guys are just going to stim on in and go for the attack. And these mutas are getting owned. Five mutas left. Let's see what Jose's got. And some more mutas are going to spawn. Going to have to retreat. Wants those medics in here. He's got two more tanks that are going to pop out. He's got a barracks right there in the middle. And the one thing is, Buell has only been able to make mutas. He hasn't really been able to build up his base. Doesn't have any sunkins. Another muta going to spawn. Gonna take that guy out. Trying to build. Here's a turret getting made in here by Jose. Nicely done. Gonna snipe that out. And no extra commands. And look at these turrets back at home. So has Muta Bomb at home defended pretty well. Jose. Playing this one pretty darn nicely. And we'll see if maybe he builds another. He does need to get a couple more barracks maybe. And maybe a starport. And here's a sunken. Let's see what. Here's your hive on the way. For Buell. And... Jose is seeing this, and there's not much here, so he's just going to go straight for the attack, I think. Unseize these guys, and Buell going to call the GG McGee. And well played from Jose right there. So going to beat Buell's Terran, or Zerg, and it was a far matchup. So, far uh, spawn. So let's see a TVZ, Jose's Protoss versus... Buell's turn. And let's see. They're on their way. Just ordered some food. We'll see if Buell goes into a mech build or if he plays the three barracks. We'll see what Jose does. I'm going to guess he goes into the barracks. But we'll see. Yeah, three barracks. Or is he going to go one barracks and then a command center? And I've been seeing players do this. Going to scout the middle. It's safer than going one command center and then your racks. Obviously. Here's your double gas. So this is all going to be standard stuff. So let's just see... What happens? There's your cyber. Jose kind of plays like a Korean or Protoss. And I always wanted Hydra to play like this. Because I think he could dominate. Uh, the Koreans are really good at early, early game. And I think Hydra's got really good at drops. So... Kokanee plays like this, I think. Dingo plays like this as well. So here's your Marines. Um, and just going to send these guys out. So we will slow it down. Here's your Robotics. We'll see when he gets his comm set. Going to pull this guy out. I think he's going to make a factory. Probably put a factory right here. Did he skip it? Here's a nice little spot out there by Buell. Here's some fire bats. Looks like he's going to go for the stim 
through the front, but gonna have four, five, uh, four cannons. Gonna put a pylon over here. And he's already got a Templar archives. Three gateways. Gonna build another gateway. It looks like. Gonna put a pylon over here. Gonna put another cannon and a gateway. And here's your stim, and there's just no way this is gonna be able to bust through. And here's your comm set, so we'll see a scan come down probably really soon. <clears throat> I hope by the time I do these games, I'm doing all these games, hopefully I don't lose my voice. And these guys are actually gonna go a little bit too far. He's gonna see five cannons, so he's not gonna be able to do anything with that. Getting that upgrade, probably going to put a turret down, or start putting the depots down. So this is your standard, standard build. And no scan yet, so... This is another, another start port, and going to run these guys back. Is there a DT in here? No. Sending this guy over to the side, here's your DT drop at 5 minutes and 33 seconds. Nicely done, and... Look at that, we can't even see them, and we have vision. So, there we go. These guys are gonna come in, do some work. There's your scan, so good thing he saved this scan. That guy got stuck, and run these guys out over. This guy's gonna kill, I think he probably got one kill. And he has enough for one more scan. Where's that other DT at? Here it is, he's gonna scan, take this guy out. And this guy's getting kills right here. Five kills. He's got a scan. He's going to use it on this guy. This guy's going to die, but this guy's been killing left and right. Another drop coming in. Three DTs. Going to drop maybe right at the front. This guy's still getting kills. Eight kills, nine kills. Three more DTs in here. And going to have a total of four. Taking out that SCV. This guy's got to have ten kills. Ten kills. Jose just crushing it with these DTs. Scan coming down. I'm gonna lose one DT. Don't want to lose this guy. Almost gonna go down. This guy is gonna survive. And no more scans left. Here's your Wraith. And Jose needs to start spending his money a little bit better. Gonna try to take this out if he can, and he might. And gonna cancel. Did that upgrade finish? No, he had to cancel that upgrade. So, and that guy is going to finally get found. So, let's see what Jose goes for. Maybe he'll go for a huge reaver drop. Not sure if Cloak got made. And so, we got five gateways. Zealot speed on the way. Here's a drop over here. Two Templars. We'll see if Buell spots this out. This is 7 minutes and 42 seconds in. I mean, you're going to spot it out instantly. And he's got range on these guys. So, nicely done. Another command center on the way. And I am going to need to. Here's a not a drop. I think maybe because Firebat is right here. Or he wants to kill any Marines that are on the side. See, like, things like that. That looks suspicious, but... Here are... Five raids. Two more factories on the way. Buell. Scan coming down. He's actually... Look at his supply. I mean, he really... Rebuilt his SCVs pretty quickly. He's going to start scanning and looking for those drops. And I need to... Um... Someone just came to the door, so let me grab that. Look at this. Coming in here. Going to take out one, two. Nice storms coming down. Beautiful job there. So one second. We will leave it like this.
when you guys are from Chicago, if you ever had Small Cheval, it is bomb burgers. You guys should check it out. If you guys ever come. It's also called, there's the All Cheval. It's the same thing. So, supply 166, 170, 178. And another command center on the way for Buell. And a scan did come down, but not sure where. So, Jose spending his money good now. I am going to open this up. Make sure the fries don't get soggy. Might have a couple. I feel like whenever you get Uber Eats, I mean, it just gets so cold so fast. Here's your skin. Oops. So he sees all this. Pretty big base. And I think this was very similar to um, how he put against... <clears throat> how Buell put against um, Hydra. Just really built up his base and then just outmassed. And, uh, yeah, really, he beat Hydra pretty handedly. So, another scan. He's looking for that drop. Some cannons on the side. Not completely sure why Jose made those. Here's your rates. Cloaked up. Let's see if they have an upgrade. Nope. He's looking for that drop. Drop's probably going to come right over the front. So here's your Templar. He's going to pick up the Templars in the middle. Is he going to spot this out? He's going to take out the Templars right there. He's going to move the shuttles out of there. And once he sees these shuttles, they are done for. Beautiful. And here's your frontal attack. I'm just completely walled off, so not able to do anything. Going to build some pylons and cannons in the middle. Probably took took out that probe. No, he did not. So, cloaked rates are the way to go for stop and drops if you're good at it. Going to lift these guys up, move those on out. Maybe he's going to go for the attack now. Start blasting this up. He's taking out whatever he can. And Jose going to go with an arb. Probably he's got a lot of robotics. He's gonna go for a massive reaver drop. I do think that a massive reaver drop would be good. These guys got one upgrade on an attack. And these cloaked rakes are just killing it. This guy's got two kills, two kills, three kills, two kills. I mean, look at all these cannons though. So let's see what Buell sees. He's gonna see all these cannons. These guys are just gonna be getting owned right there and absolutely murked. So, but he's going all out. On the factories, he'll start moving these out. Gonna make a ton more factories, and this is what got Buell better with this Terran is he could start macroing up his base really fast. So all of a sudden, he would have a ton of factories, and he'd be pumping like crazy. That's what he's gonna be doing shortly. Let's see how much energy? I mean, these guys have a lot of energy. These are getting moved out now, and I mean, just look at this, how many factories. Usually you want to have about 12 to 15 factories, and then 8 to 10 starports. He's got three starports, but he's got all these Valkyries, getting another command center. He's got all these scans, getting more gas. And he's just going to build up all of his base, make sure he gets all his upgrades, and then mass attack. He's got a bunch of tanks right here, 1-1 one, one upgrade. I have a huge reaver drop from Jose though, so this might be, this might work out. So you got Valkyries at home though. Scan's coming down. Is he gonna spot? He's gonna spot this. Is he gonna start moving out the Valkyrie? So he knows a huge drop's coming, and it's going this way. So we'll see if he tries to intercept it right here. He knows that if he just stays at home with his, I guess Valkyries. That drop will come to him. So that drop's going to come all the way over here. 
He's probably going to start moving out with some of his tanks. Looks like he's going to bring some back at home just in case. Gonna take out these t uh, Templars. And yeah, look at this. 4, 8, 9, 13, plus another 4, so 17. Scans are coming down. He's going to see the drop. He is going to go after it for sure. And this is going to get blasted so quickly. And one Reaver is going to drop. And he's just going to seize this up, take that out. These guys might die. Lay mines for it. So, took that out so easily. Another Reaver drop going to be coming from Jose. 150 supply. He's got all these cannons in the middle. Going to start moving on out. 1-1-2 one, one, upgrades. Gonna move these guys out. Got an expo. Scans are coming down. Looking for more drops. Is he gonna spot out that drop? You might see this right here and scan that that looked like it was could be could have been a drop it is a drop this drop is gonna get spotted out super quickly and that is done and now he's just gonna start moving out we'll see if he kills all of this and carriers are on the way we'll see if he kills all of this or if he just goes straight for the bypass and just comes on down here and attacks this so He's just got these at home for drops. And they're actually going to do good against the carriers for sure. Looks like he's going to start taking all this out. Here's some DTs here. Let's we'll see if some scans come down. There's your scan. And here's a couple Corsairs. No Templar or anything in there. <clears throat> Tanks are moving on down. A lot of DTs and Zealots. Two, two, two upgrades for Jose. He's maxed out. He's got carriers on the way. A lot of scans. Going to take all these guys out. And going to continue to make the carriers. We'll see if this gets scanned by Buell. And he's got two vessels in here. Gonna start probably making Goliaths as well. Now I'm gonna start. Yeah, here's your scans coming. Now I'm gonna start pushing right here. And he scan this. Defensive matrix like a boss. Just making these tanks invincible. Got a Goliath in here now. And we'll see if he starts scanning these carriers. Should be finishing up. At least four of them. There they are. But he's getting closer and closer inside here. Here's a Templar. This guy's still defensive matrixed up. Look at this huge line. Here's your scans coming down. He's going to see a lot of zealots, so doesn't really know that it's going to be carriers. But he will see some carriers, but he's going to be able to use those Valkyries and destroy those carriers for sure. Probably it's 3-3 now. Should be somewhat close to 3-3. And there's those carriers coming in. And they're just... Let's start taking out some of these tanks, but there's just not enough of them. We got three more coming over here. Another two, four, five right there. Arb coming in. Sieging these bad boys up. Got the Goliaths getting made. Valkyrie should be on the way. Here they are. We're going to probably take out the Arb real quick. 
While they do that, they do crazy splash damage. And they just destroy... Valkyries just destroy carriers. I mean, we can watch these guys just go down. Gonna micro those guys back. I mean, just absolutely destroy. There's a lot of carriers, though. With the DTs, 11 carriers. And EMP'd this really nicely. And watch these, let's just watch these guys go down. There goes one, two, at least three will go down. Almost four, maybe. And now he's got the Goliaths in here. Just absolutely crushing it. I think that's going to be the game. Fuel could even get rid of 12 of his SCVs if he wants to. He had a couple raids as well. And he's going to probably be scouting these Expos. And these guys are going to just move on in and get all the probes. And Jose going to do the thing that he does best. Doesn't call the GG and just dip out. So good game right there. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.